Hey everyone, welcome to Popular Cruising. I am your host Jason Leppert, here with a new Cruise Expert Reacts video talking about Norwegian Cruise Line's upcoming new Norwegian Aqua. Now this is the first of the Prima Plus class ships, and this means it's going to be a little bit larger than the Prima and the Viva before it. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, the video and, and imagery. So here you can see the new uh, hull art, which is more colorful overall, uh, versus the monochromatic ones on the Viva and the Prima. Lifestyle images, very nice. Let's pause it right here and take a look at the deck plan because who doesn't love a deck plan? I sure do. Let's take a look at the one on the Viva. This is the previous ship. You'll notice that there was the wave that was their solo um, water slide that was on that ship, as well as the Viva Speedway, the go kart racetrack. And the same deck, deck 20 on the Aqua, is missing both of those, interestingly enough. So no more uh, go karts. I'm kind of surprised by that one because I really like those things. But, uh, you know, it's okay. You got to gotta change it up sometimes. Also showing that there's no wave. Instead, we have the glow court. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. But first, let's look at some more images of the slide here. Very interesting. So it's still a three-story slide, uh, like it was the three-story go-kart racetrack. Uh, they're calling it kind of a hybrid water slide um, coaster. And I don't know, I mean, it, it does have these, uh, what they're calling magnetic lifts, which is kind of interesting. So it's a dual uh, course and it looks like it's racing. So you can race your friends and that kind of thing. Very nice. Um, but uh, other than that, it really does look to me just more like a regular water slide, but uh, okay, they're calling it a coaster. Interesting. Um, looks exciting. I mean, I definitely looks like a great water slide. So I'm excited about that. And then the fact that it ends here above the main pool is interesting. One of the things that uh, I personally thought was a little uh, distracting with the go-kart track um, going all the way around the smokestack before was that it was very noisy uh, for the pool and even the by beach club that was around it. So this is probably going to be a quieter alternative um, other than maybe the occasional screams. I'm sure there will be. So let's go ahead and check out the video again. Alrighty, very nice, very nice. Yeah, very relaxing. I love these ships. And pausing it again. Okay, now let's take a look at what they're calling the glow court. This is part a uh, sports court by day, and then also a nightclub at uh, in the evenings. And this is also what was part of the go kart racetrack before. So this is interesting. It's a bit of a change. Uh, looks really colorful and vibrant. I think it looks really neat. Uh, I don't know if I want to be dancing uh, in the humidity of the Caribbean at night, but uh, that's just me because I sweat a lot, but hey, that's okay. Um, and then just briefly, let's go back and look at the deck plans. Also on uh, the Viva, on deck 18, you had the stadium. It was the paid darts. It was the paid uh, mini golf uh, course that they had. Very fun. Really enjoyed it. But what they're saying now on the Aqua that's going to be different is uh, some of this is going to be repeated, but a little bit more in a complimentary fashion. So a little bit more free, which I think is a great way of going. So looking at the 18 on this ship, on the Aqua, again, the stadium is there. One thing that is also there is the drop. This is the 10-story free fall uh, dry slide. Not a water slide, but a dry slide. On this side, on the Viva and Prima, was the Rush. Now, that was a kind of a tamer, non-free fall version, uh, which seems to be missing this time. Now, if you look at some of the renderings, it only shows the drop once. However, this deck plan shows the drop twice. So I think they're actually going to be doubling up on this for even more thrills, and I think that's a great way of going. Okay, while we're on the deck plan still, let's go down to deck 15 on the Viva. Here you'll see the Splash Academy, that's the kids' facility. But on deck 14, there is nothing below that space. However, on the Aqua... Let's take a look at uh, Deck 15 again. And yes, the Splash Academy is there. Great. The kids' facility is being reprised. But more importantly is on Deck 14 is the Entourage is back. This is the teens' facility, and it has its own dedicated space again, whereas in the past on the Viva and the Prima, they were combining the spaces. But this time, you know, both uh, age groups have their own spaces. I think that's a great way of going. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video again briefly. All right, now let's take a look at some of the accommodations on board. These are really nice. So here are the duplex Haven suites. There are four of these on board. They're a uh, double decker, as you can see with the stairs, and they have three bedrooms and three baths. This is the living room space as you enter. Very handsome looking, very nice. Be great if you have a family wants to travel together. And also the master bedroom up top. Looks like it's got a great view to the outside with the glass right up against the, uh, the side of the ship there. Very, very cool. And then heading back to the video to let that play. There we go with the slide coaster again. Very nice. Looks really exciting. Can't wait to try it myself. Very cool. And some of these areas that they're showing uh, on the lower promenade deck is interesting, as we've seen those before. And they have some new renderings that they have to 
display. And there we have, um, yeah, it looks like there's maybe a little bit more shade. Uh, still the great seating, places to relax, and uh, get the R&R &R while looking at the, uh, the ocean and have a great sea day. And then also here is the Indulge Outdoor Lounge. This is the area on the very back of the ship that uh, hangs off of the back of the food court. So again, very nice uh, wake views there. Can't wait to check that out. And yeah, it just looks like it's going to be a great ship. Can't, uh, can't complain. Can't wait to see it. Thanks so much for watching. If you would, please uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. And see you next time. Bye-bye.